Hi everyone! Today I'm doing another video for you guys. As you might have noticed, I am trying to upload a video every Friday on my channel. So I hope to keep doing this for a long time so that you get at least a video every week. Today I'm doing a band shirt slash printed shirt collection. This is not everything I have since some of them are in the laundry or some of them are at my boyfriend's house, but these are most of my band shirts. I'm gonna start off with the oldest one I have. Um, this is a Murder Dolls t-shirt. I got this a really long time ago from my dad. So it has really washed, been washed a lot, so the fabric is like really thin. And this is what the back looks like. I really love this shirt. Um, it's been one of my favorites. It is a bit loose on me. But I don't care. Um, I got it when I was like 13 or 14, so I've had it for a long, long time already. The second shirt is actually a quite new one. This is from Out of Line. It is a Suicide Commando shirt in a girly size extra large. And the back says, see you in hell. I have this shirt together with my boyfriend, so we have exactly the same one, except that I have the curly and he has the regular shirt. Um, we both love Suicide Commando and we got it together at Amphi Festival last year. Then I have a shirt of a band that uh, stopped recently. Um, the band is called Slaughtery. It, is a, it was a death metal band. Then I got this shirt as a promotional item. So I actually did a photo shoot in it um, to promote their band and it is all cut up in the back. I don't know if you can see this really well. It is, has like a bunch of holes and when you wear it, it looks like a skull. Also the sides are cut open and then I just um, tied them back together since this was originally a size large or extra large and it was really too big on me. So to make it fit really nice and to make good promotion for the band, I just cut it open and kind of put it back together. The next shirt isn't really a band shirt, but it is a printed shirt in a size extra small, but it fits kind of loose. Um, this one. I got this at Grusrock. It was really, really cheap, so that's why I got it. Um, I really love how they made like the print with the um, the Stormtrooper and the Crossbones. Um, this is one of my go-to t-shirts. If I have to go somewhere and I don't know what to wear and I still want to be comfy, I just grab this shirt. Then this shirt is the first shirt I ever bought myself. I bought it at the Nightwish concert where Pain was a headliner. So this is a Pain t-shirt. And on the back it has the tour dates. This shirt is from 2008, so I've had it for seven years already. Um, it's still in good shape. I don't wear it as much as I used to, uh, mainly because I want to keep it as nice as it, is, as it is now. You can see that the print has already cracked a bit here. But since it is such a nice shirt, and it was actually the first one that I got myself, I really want to keep it in the best shape that I can. It is a bit loose on me since this was the only one that I had available at the time and it is a male size medium so it is a bit too big for me. The next shirt is a um, male size small and it is a machine head t-shirt. It says machine fucking head on the front and headbang motherfucker on the back. On the sleeves, there is the logo that I drew. And what I love about this shirt is it fits snug on me, so it's really nice to wear. Um, but also the type of drawing-like print on it, I really enjoy. Next is a girl in a size large that I bought at a concert, and it is from Hills Witch Engage. As you can see. I really fell in love with this print. When I saw it, it looks really neat, really cool. Uh, people don't really know what it is. It's kind of a monsterish print. So yeah. This is a really nice shirt. It is long enough for me and it is really fitted. 
Um, I wear this for school with a blazer on top of it if I want to have like a shirt but still look classy enough because for school I study event management which is a office management section so I have to look nice and presentable almost all the time for my school. Next shirt is my all-time favorite shirt that I have. Unfortunately, it is not the size that I need, but the print is really awesome. It's Rob Zombie shirt. It is really, really thick and nice quality. Um, unfortunately, as I mentioned, it is too big for me. And this is the back. Um, this is the only Rob Zombie shirt I own right now since I can't find the prints that I like which are like this black and white with some red style. The next shirt that I have is way too big but I bought it on purpose in this size because I just wear this at home and sleep in it. It is a Ramones t-shirt. And it is in a size XXL and I got it at Siena, which is um, a local store in Belgium and in Holland, I believe, and they were priced off since no one wanted them. Um, to the, I bought it together with a Wu Tang Clan t-shirt for my boyfriend, and I only paid 7 euros for two t-shirts, which is basically a steal. Another shirt that I love wearing is in a male size small. It's this one. It has Susie from Susie and the Banshees on it. This is my favorite image of Susie, so I couldn't have found a better shirt. I bought this also at the Amphi Festival last year and it was 15 euros, which I don't think is expensive for such a nice shirt. And then the last t-shirt is a printed t-shirt from League of Legends, which has Timo on it. I actually play League of Legends, well, used to play because I stopped after season 3, I believe. Um, I used to play Vayne and Morgana and Lux a lot. I never actually played with Timo, but I just think he is the cutest character ever. If I someday can find a Cottontail Timo t-shirt, I will buy it 100% sure. These were all the t-shirts that I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next week, bye!